I have Sarah here with me. It's been requested to do some back bends today. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but every class I've been trying to wear a different color and bands. A matching shirt. A matching a shirt. Matching mat. <laughs> they do have to <laughs> match today. But we're in a different pair of yoga pants every single class. So this is class nine. These are pants number nine. <laughs> If you guys are ready, we're going to start on our backs. I am afraid. <laughs> Don't worry, we're on that, it'll be good. Starting on our backs, go ahead and bring your knees to your chest. Listen to the birds. And go ahead and already start breathing in and out through the nose. knees drop over to the right. Let your left arm go out to the left. Yeah, so someone requested back bend. Someone else requested backs and spine. So we're working on the spine right now. We get a nice spinal twist. If you can, make your breath a little bit longer. Inhale, knees to center. Exhale, knees over to the left. Good morning to those that are joining us. I'm Ashley. I have my friend Sarah here with me. We'll be doing a lot of spinal movement today, back bends. Right now, just breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale back to center. All right, we're going to start rocking forward and back, forward and back, rolling out the spine. See if maybe you can get a little bit of air time at the front where the toes don't touch the front. Oh, mine touched. And rolling all the way back onto the upper back. Maybe the head touches the floor. And do it one more time, and then you're going to rock yourself all the way up to standing. Use your hands if you'd like, or maybe try no hands. All right. <laughs> I've, I've lost a lot of people. Good morning, Maria. Everyone left. But I know lots of you are going to be watching this later in the day, so welcome. Big toes together, heels a little apart. Inhale, arms rise, and you won't be able to see my arms when I bring them up. Maybe you can kind of see Sarah's, but you're going to make a gun with your hands, mm -hmm. and side bend to the right. Try not to let your chest collapse down, but you're going directly to the side. Good morning, Maria and Maria. Three, push hard at the feet, two, one, inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Five, try to straighten out the arms. Four, three, two, one, inhale, center. Exhale, hands down at your sides. I know, my sides are pretty sore. Let's add mm, a little bit of back bending with that. So inhale, arms rise, make your gun. And I'm gonna turn so you can see my back. I'm not gonna go right into my low back where it's like a door hinge. Think of being like a rainbow arch or a roll top desk where you're grounding into the feet and everything's lifting up from the chest. It may not be a very big movement, but it's a little bit enough that you start to feel it. Three. Two, one, inhale up, exhale, fold forward. Go ahead and give your knees a little bend since this is the first forward fold of the morning. I'm going to let my head hang down, maybe give your head a little shake, no. 
pulling the belly in. Let your shoulders relax. Just kind of ragdolling over your legs. Inhale, look halfway. <laughs> Stepping back with your left foot. So your right foot is forward, left foot is back. Drop your back knee. Once it gets really far back there, drop the back knee. Front knee is stacked over your ankle. And then sit it back, half splits. No worries about being late as long as you're here. Pull the toes back towards your nose. Yes, there you go. Don't look at my feet. <laughs> I can't see it. It's, it's far away. The more you pull your toes back towards your nose, the more you're going to feel that hamstring stretch. Now to add a little bit more to this, because I need a little bit more. I still kind of feel it, but I could feel it better. Send the tailbone up in the back, and that's where I feel it. Four. Deep breaths. Three. Push your chest forward. Two. One. You're going to step back up to the front, so put that toe down. Step up with your left. Step back with your right. Big step back. Maybe you need to wiggle it back more. Drop the back knee. Point the back toe. Sink your hips back just where they're stacking over your back knee. So I never bring my hips all the way down to my heel. My hips are stacked over that back knee. Pull the toes back. Push your chest forward. And if you'd like to add that little tailbone lift in the back. Eight. Seven. Six. Closed. 
your choice. Good morning to those that are joining us. Again, I'm Ashley. This is my friend Sarah. <laughs> and Sarah just joined as well. Another Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. Hi, this Sarah. is Sarah. And I have a Sarah as well. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> breathing in and out through the nose. So if things get a little bit difficult today, take a child's pose. Child's pose is always available whether I say to take it or not. I say that in my classes all the time. I'd rather you take a child's pose than just completely quit. So maybe you just need a few breaths, take a little child's pose, come back when you're ready. And let's go ahead, downward facing dog, fingers nice and spread. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, plant it in between the hands. Back heel spins flat, arm drives straight up. And then again, you're gonna make that gun with your hands. Good. And like your gun is a pen, you're gonna draw a line from the front corner of your room to the back corner of your room, making it into a back bend. So reaching back. Four, keep the bend in that front knee. Three, Two, one, left hand comes to the floor, pop your back heel up so you're more in a runner's lunge, left, right arm rises, twist, and then we're going to add a little bit more into the spine by leaning away from that right leg, so lean away, and go ahead and take, yeah, lean away from it, take that top hand behind your head, yeah, push that foot down, don't let it curl open, three, Two, one, bring the hand back down, bring the foot, drop your back knee, bring your, bring your hand on the inside of the foot, wiggle the foot to the right, good. Turn your right toes to the right, we did this pose yesterday, open up the foot, so you're coming onto the bladed edge of your toes. You can stay on your left hand or drop to the left elbow, I like dropping to the elbow. And I'm flexing this foot so again that my ankle stays nice and straight and I'm not sickling it. Flex your ankle. Yes. Good. Hand on the knee. Look behind you or reach behind you. Three. Two. One. Hand comes back down. Good. Let's take our first vinyasa. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, push forward, lower. Don't let your belly touch the floor. Inhale, up dog. Shoulders back, open up the heart. Exhale, down dog. And we do the other side, left leg, inhale. Plant it in between the hands, exhale. Back heel spins flat, inhale, arms rise. So you're really grounding down into that back foot. Make your pen, start your line, draw back. Three. Two, one, right hand comes to the floor. Pop your back heel up so you're in your runner's lunge. You're gonna lean away from that leg. Hand can come behind the head. I like hand behind the head because it helps you keep a neutral spine. Three, two, One, you can already bring your hand on the inside, wiggle the foot to the left, drop your back knee. Drop your right elbow if you choose to, otherwise you can stay up on your hand. Come to the bladed edge of that foot and pull the toes back to make your ankle nice and strong. Hand can be here, hand can be here, hand can be here, your choice. Three. If you're on your elbow, make sure you're not dumping into your shoulder, but you're pushing your shoulder out of the floor. Two, one, hand comes back down. Vinyasa number two, inhale plank. Use your toes, push yourself forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, hop or step, feet up to the hands. Big toes together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, sit a deep like a chair, Utkatasana. Arm 
arms are straight, if you can, with straight arms, palms together. Otherwise, arms are apart. Mm -hmm. See if you can still wiggle your toes, sinking your hips back. So, let's see. It's not here, where I can't wiggle my toes because all my weight is in my toes. Hips are back here, and you're trying to reach your arms back, 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 as far as you can go. Once you reach your arms back, you're gonna notice all the muscles down the back, sit in your chair. <laughs> all the muscles in your back are starting to fire up and grip. The more you bring your arms back, take your gaze up. Three, two, one, exhale, swoosh the arms back, straighten the legs. Inhale, sit a deep. Exhale, swoosh back. Inhale, sit a deep. Exhale, swoosh. Inhale, sit a deep. Exhale, swoosh, last one. Hands plant. Jump or step back, lower chaturanga. Sarah's gonna step, I'm gonna jump right into my chaturanga. Up doggy. <laughs> Exhale, down dog. We have to have both. <laughs> both, Sarah. You'll be my modifier. All right. Should we do a little core before we move on? I say yes. Jump or step through to seated. My eyes step. Come onto your backs. Hands at your side. Legs go straight up. Push your low back into the floor. Four. <laughs> We're going to start with 10 pulses to the toes, 10 pulses to the right, 10 pulses to the left, no stopping in between. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 to the right, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Get your breathing back in order. In and out through the nose. Do you have as many birds tripping at your house? Yeah. I think our neighbors behind us have a bird feeder or something in their bush back there. Both legs go straight up. Hands behind your head this time. Lift your chin and chest. Try to keep your chin off of your chest. Right leg hovers. And all we're going to do is pulse up for five. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, keep your head up if you can. And pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Head up, twist, not twist, switch. <laughs> this time, four, three, two, one. Switch, four, three, Two, one, switch. <laughs> Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Two, one, switch. Two, one, switch. Two, one, switch. <laughs> each side. One, and one, and rest. Stretch it out. Like a good morning stretch, reach your arms, reach your legs, or you can have knees to chest. Ah, good stuff. Rock and roll through to downward facing dog. Check your feet to make sure they're about two fist widths apart. Heels are not collapsing down. Sorry, arches are not collapsing down. You can, you can push your heels down. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, plant it in between the hands. 
Back heel spins flat. Inhale, arms rise. Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. Three. Try to relax your jaw. Two. One, open Virabhadrasana B, warrior two. Maybe a bigger stance. This time your back foot is only turned in five degrees instead of 45 degrees so your hips can open. Check your front knee that it's stacked over your ankle and it's not collapsing in. Three, two, one. Clasp your hands behind your back. This is a little bit different than we normally do in classes, so pay attention. This is not a humbly bow. We're gonna fold forward while still keeping our front knee tracking over our ankle. It looks like this. So you're gonna bow forward without moving the front knee. Three, reach your hands off your back. Two, one, inhale back up to warrior two. Ah, how did it go? I feel like my hip needs to pop. Did we get that? It'll pop eventually. Make sure you're not reaching towards the front. You're not sinking your hips to the back. Hips are tucked under. Shoulders are stacked over ribs. Ribs are stacked over your hips. Right palm flips up. Inhale, reverse. Keep the bend in that front knee. Feel the stretch through your side body. Three. Bend more in that front knee. Two. One, back to warrior two. Okay, maybe watch first and then try. Your back hand, which is my left hand, is going to windmill down, but my right hand stays up. Shoulder stacked over wrist, and this front foot is going to go behind. Wild thing. Okay, try it, Sarah. Left hand to the floor, front foot, front foot. goes behind. Yeah! <laughs> and reach your hand over your head. Three. Two, one to plank. How did you do it at home? <laughs> Don't type because you're probably in the middle of it. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Can we do the other side? Left leg, inhale. Plant it in between the hands, exhale. Back heel flat, arms rise straight up. Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. So, mm, three. If you want to make it into a back bend, reach back. Two. One, open warrior two. Maybe use more of your mat. Back toes have to turn out a little bit. They're not turning to the back of your mat, they're turning to the side of your mat. Check your front knee that it's not collapsing in. Mine was a little bit, I had to kind of check it. Two. One, clasp your hands behind your back. Fold forward, reach your hands off your bum. Three. Two. One, inhale back up. Open the arms back up. Warrior two. Left palm flips up. Inhale, reverse. For three, reach, reach, reach. Two. One, back to warrior two. Okay, the fun part, your back hand windmills down. Front foot flips behind. Reach up, push the hips up, three. Push the hips higher, two. One, plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. That will come into play later on. All right. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, plant it forward. Back heel spins flat. Inhale, arms rise. You've been here before, Virabhadrasana A, but if you want to make this more of a back bend, you can make that done and draw your line back. Three. Two. One, open. 
open the arms of your Vajrasana B, warrior two. Three. Two. How many of you are just watching us and not actually doing it? <laughs> One, right palm, flips up, reverse. Now you can make this more of a side angle. More your side, not a side angle, but you're getting more stretch to the side. Or you can turn your chest to the ceiling and make it more of a back bend. Three. Two, bend more on that front knee. One, side angle this time, right hand on the inside of the foot. Not the inside, I'm sorry, the outside, outside. I was thinking outside, but I said inside. <laughs> and then your top arm is going to wrap behind your back. Try to turn your chest to the side. This is called side angle. And hand goes behind the back. Maybe it comes into the little crook of your hip. Bend more. Mm-hmm. Three. Two. One, back up into warrior two. Keep the bend in that front knee. How is your thigh feeling? Mine is feeling it already. Three. Two. You get a little break, straighten the front leg. Turn those toes to the left side. So now both toes are pointing to your side. Clasp your hands behind your back. Make sure your toes are not turned out on this one, but your toes are slightly in. You're gonna grip with your toes, kind of like you're, and if you are on carpet, Pull up the carpet with your toes, grip the toes, lift your arches, clasp your hands behind your back, pull the knuckles down, inhale, look up, exhale, fold. Grip with those feet, try to get your hands off your back, reach the crown of your head towards the floor, five. Firm your quadriceps, four. Send your tailbone higher, three. Two, one, inhale all the way up, back to warrior two, right toes turn to the front, bend into that front knee, open up the arms, three, two, one, reverse, three, bend in that front knee, two, one, so we're going to do what we did before, back to warrior two, back hand windmills down, right hand stays up, right foot, flip it over, wild thing, push the hips up, three, two, plank one, chaturanga, exhale, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left leg inhale, plant it forward, exhale. Back heel spins flat, arms rise straight up, Vyodrasana A. And again, if you'd like, make your gun, draw your line. Three, two, one. Open the arms, open the back foot, Vyodrasana B. Three, two, one, reverse, so left hand flips up. If you want to make it more of a back bend, chest turns to the front and you reach up this way, otherwise it's a side back bend. Three, two, one, back to warrior two. Side angle, hand on the outside of the foot. Top hand reaches behind the back, maybe for the crook of that hip. Keep the bend in that front knee. Open your chest to the side. Try not to let your shoulder collapse to the floor. Three. Two, lift your back arch. One, back up warrior two. Keep the bend in that front knee. I know that it's starting to burn. <sighs> And we get a little reprieve. Straighten the leg. Turn the front toes to the side. Clasp your hands behind your back. Grip with the toes. Firm your quadriceps and exhale, fold. Three. 
three. Pull the belly in, two. One, inhale all the way up. Back to warrior two, left toes turn to the front, bend into that front knee, open the arms. One more reverse, reverse, three. Bend more in that front knee, two. One, back to warrior two. Backhand windmills to the floor. Left hand to the sky. Left foot, flip behind. Push the hips up, up, up. Reach over, three. Two. One, plank. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Don't let your belly touch the floor. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You can hang out in down dog or hang out in child's pose. Your choice. We're here for five. Oh, mm -hmm. I'd like to know who's hanging out in down dog. <laughs> Four. Three. In and out through the nose. Two. And one. When you're ready, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, inhale. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Reach your toe towards the left side, reach your knee towards the ceiling. Look towards your back foot. Both hands are flat. Breathing in and out through the nose. Three, lift your knee higher. Two. One, bring that foot forward in between the hands. Back heel spins flat. Inhale, arms rise, make your gun. Back bending, three. Two. One, open warrior two, we've been here before. Back foot not turned in so much so that your hips can open. So while Sarah's holding this, the difference between Virabhadrasana A, hips squared to the front, and Virabhadrasana B, hips open, is really the back foot and your hips moving with it. Virabhadrasana A, I'm gonna keep my hands on my hips so you can see. Virabhadrasana A, my back foot is turned in 45 degrees, my hips are pointing to the front, and that's when we have the arms up. Virabhadrasana B, I'm gonna open up my hips, but I also need to move my back foot open a little bit too, so that helps my hips open up. Check your front knee that it's not collapsing. <laughs> How long have we been here, Sarah? Long too long. <laughs> Straight in front leg. <laughs> right hand to your shin. Open up the left arm to the sky and look up. Try to stack your shoulders on top of each other. If you come down too low, sometimes this happens where the shoulder drops and the hand kind of gets a little wonky because you're just trying to get the hand up. So hand is facing the side. And maybe you come up a little bit higher so your shoulders can stack. I like being on my shin for this one, actually. Three. Push hard with the big toe mound of that front foot and the bladed edge of that back foot. Two. One. Look down at the floor. A little bend in that front knee. Fingertips about two o'clock. Lift your back foot up. Flex your heel. If you'd like, take that top hand and bind it behind your back. Maybe for the crook of your hip. Open up that shoulder, open up your hips to the side. Rotate your toe towards the ceiling. Three. If you fall, just get back in it. We've been at this for a little bit over half an hour, so Erin, if you're watching, don't stop at half an hour, keep going. Oh, how are we doing? Standing splits. Both hands come down. That leg stays up. Reach your forehead towards your shin. Three. Oh, yeah. Two. One. Your left knee is going to come to the floor. Behind your right heel. Yep, slide that up. So right behind your right heel. You see it? And then you're going to sit down. 
So my left foot is off to the right side of my body, and my right foot is crossed over. Both hips are touching the floor. Hold your knee, sit up nice and tall, and just try and make sure your hips are grounded and trying to get this foot flat versus at an angle. Mm -hmm. You can stay here, or left hand grabs the knee twist, or hook the elbow twist. Think what your spine is doing right now. You have your hips grounded, so the bottom part of your spine is grounded, and then you're twisting through the middle, thoracic, lumbar area of the spine. Think of every time you inhale, you're getting length, Every time you exhale, you're wringing out your spine like a towel. Another three. Two. Oh, let's do it longer because I want to stay here. Another three. Twist deeper, exhale, two. One, inhale and wind back to the front. How's your spine feel? Hands are going to plant. Push yourself forward. Inhale to plank. Try not to let your belly touch the floor. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Bend your knee, stack your hips. So think of reaching your toe behind you and your knee towards the ceiling. Straighten your arms. Breathe. Three. Lift higher with that knee. Two. Reach further with the toe. One. Bring it in between the hands. Virabhadrasana A. Back heel flat. Inhale arms. Maybe make your gun. Draw your line. Back bend. Three, two, one, open, Virabhadrasana B, maybe separate your feet more. And I talked on the other side a long time, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I did. I'm not going to talk on this side, but we will still try and hold it the same amount of time. Five. Deep bend in that front knee. Don't take the bend out of it. Four. Lift your back. Arch. Three. Two. One. Straighten the front leg. Exhale. Left hand to your shin or a block or the floor. As long as you can still stack your shoulders, look up. Four. Push hard with your feet. Three. Two. One. Look at the floor. Little bend in that knee so your hand can come about 10 o'clock. Lift your back foot up. Rotate the hip open so your toe is starting to rotate to the ceiling. Take your top hand, bind it behind your back. Four. Three, two, one, standing splits, both hands come down, point the toe, square the hips, lift the leg higher, forehead to shin, three, two, lift a little higher, and one, that little right knee is going to come to the floor, behind your left ankle and sit all the way down. Adjust as needed so both sit bones are trying to get to the floor, trying to get this left foot flat to the floor. So again, your left foot is crossed over the right knee. I'm not seated on either heel, both my sit bones are flush to the floor. Hold your knee, sit up tall. Either hold the knee twist or hook the elbow twist. Breathing in and out through the nose. Enjoy the ambience of the birds outside. Try not to 
to rely so much on the backhand. If you are, try to scooch it closer to your bum to sit up taller. Remember, think of wringing your spine out like a towel on your exhale. Exhale rings it out. Five. Four. Three. Two. Center. Use your hands to push yourself forward. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Don't let your belly touch the floor. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right. Jump or step through to seated. Best part of class. Well, the second best part of class. Best part of shavasana. <laughs> second best is stretching. So legs are out in front of you, straighten the legs, sitting up nice and tall. We'll get to this pose a couple of times because we're going to be doing some back bends. Inhale, arms. Exhale, lead out with your heart, reach out with your chest, reach out with your arms, and then let your arms go where they go. Keep your feet pointing up. Try not to relax your feet forward or relax your feet out to the side. Keep your legs engaged. Like you're trying to push your heels forward. Three. Two. One. And I'll bring you up. Sit nice and tall. Hands behind you. Right ankle crosses over your left knee. Left heel slides in straight. And then you're going to push your chest forward. Lift yourself up. Flex the ankle on top. Five. Four. Three. If you're really not feeling this one, you can always take a regular pigeon. Two. One. We're going to come into mermaid. I'm not sure if that's the official name of it, but that's what I call it. So this front leg, this leg that's on top is going to stay in the front. Your bottom leg is going to go behind. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your right knee is off to the right. Your heel is in. You're going to reach back for your back foot and rotate your thigh to face the floor. Mm -hmm. Good. So when you bend your knee, your foot isn't going behind you, it's going towards the ceiling, if that makes sense. And you're just going to hold it, maybe use the floor to help kind of sit up, or if you can, hook your back elbow around the foot. There you go. Top hand behind the head, and clasp your hands together, and try and lift your chest. That's not happening. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, hand just behind the head like Sarah, and you have either your foot holding, or you're trying to hook the elbow. Now try not to sink all the way into the right hip, but push your left hip a little bit forward. Look up. Three. Two. Gently release one. It's not a slingshot. <laughs> all right, let's make this one a little bit more of a back bend before we move on. Right knee, make sure it's off to the right. I was kind of sinking into my hip a little bit. All right, push into your back toenails. Walk your hands back, back, back. Hands up if you can, otherwise you're pushing into the floor. And if you can, with your hands up, bend your elbows, reach your elbows towards your face, and reach your hands back. And you're gonna bend your back knee and reach for your foot. <laughs> Maria, no way, Jose. Just do what you can do. Five. Four. Three, my back is on fire. Two, a good fire. One, release all the way. I don't know if I want to do the other side yet. We're going to do a little in-between pose before we do the other side. So swing your back leg around, lay down, bridge. 
feet plant, toes are forward, hands at your side, lift your hips up. You can have your hands at your side, you could clasp your hands under your back and wiggle the shoulders under, making your hips come a little higher. Eight. Don't turn your toes out where the knees roll out. Toes are forward, knees reaching forward, hips reaching up. Four. Three, push your big toes down. Push your heels down. Two. One, undo the hands. Come down, knees to chest. Hmm. Rock and roll up to seated. And we do the other side. Starting with your left ankle crossed over the right knee. Hands gonna be behind. Slide the right heel in. And then sit up nice and tall. I was teaching a group of football players this pose. And I had one kid doing this. And he's like, I don't feel anything. And I said, push your chest forward. And as soon as he did that, he goes, oh, yeah, okay. So make sure you're not just hanging out back here, but you're reaching your chest forward. You're going to feel that into your leg. Good morning. You're a little late to the game, Bart. Two. One, straighten the bottom leg. All right, the bent knee that's on top is going to stay forward. Bottom leg swings around to the back. Think about it. Think about it. This heel is in. Rotate your back knee so it faces the floor. Bend your back knee. Reach for your back foot. Maybe the crook of the elbow can hook into it. Not on this side. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So you could have your hand on the floor if you can. Hand behind the head or hand reaching for the hand behind the head. Lead with your chin. I'll do it on the floor. You can do it on the floor. I'll do it on the floor. That's fine. Five. Four, three, two, one, gently release, not a slingshot. Straighten out the back leg and square your hips to the front. Options, pushing into the back toenails and you push into the floor. Walk back, 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 walk back. You can be here, you can be pushing into your leg. If you can, no hands, bend your back knee. Reach your arms up and reach your hands, like you're trying to reach your hands back towards your foot. Five, oh. reach and arch with the back. Four, I'm sinking into the hip. Three, so watch my hip, I kind of fell off to the side here and my spine got a little wonky. I'm gonna try and lift that hip so I can square off my hips. Two, and one, oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Back to our back, back to bridge. Okay, I'll make sure I don't run out of time today. <sighs> toes pointing forward. Don't turn the toes out. Toes pointing forward. Heels down, toes down. Hands at your side to start. Lift your hips up. We're going to do five back bends. You can do deeper than this if you would like. If you have a wheel, you can use a wheel. Um, but we're going to do five total the Ashtanga way, or how I do it the Ashtanga way. We start, and I just fall. Two. <laughs> One, hips down, or if you're on a full wheel, you can do top of the head. Good morning, JC. I know you're not going to be doing yoga right now. You can just say hello. All right, back up number two. You can again keep your hands at your side or clasp them under your back, wiggle the shoulders under. Five, make sure your toes did not turn out. Four, squeeze your bum. Three, two, one, hips back down. Number three, this time you're gonna reach for your heels. So you lift your hips up a little bit. I slide to the side, grab a heel, slide to the side, grab a heel. Wiggle the shoulders under, push through the hips. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Release back down. Number four, hands plant by 
by your ears. With hair out of the way. My hair is in the way. <laughs> Elbows face up, toes pointing forward. Come just to the top of your head. So you're going to lift your hips up and flip to the top of your head. Elbows in. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Back down. When I first started doing yoga, I couldn't do that. Once I could do that, I couldn't get my head off the floor for full wheel. If you're there, just be patient. Do what you can do today. We're going to do one more. Hands plant by the ears. Elbows point up. You can either do top of the head or push all the way up into full wheel. Inhale up. Five. Four. Breathe. Three. Two. One. Tuck the chin to come down. Oy. It's been a long time since I've done a wheel. My not look as pretty as they used to, but yeah. my body still works. Knees to chest, give them a squeeze. So I told you we would come back to that seated forward fold. Your counter stretch for back bends. Rock and roll up to seated. Like legs straight, feet flexed, sit up tall, maybe the skin out of the way, and hold. Hmm. Eight. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale brings you back up. Go ahead and lay all the way down. If you need something else, like a shoulder stand, another twist if you would like, a happy baby, you can take it. If there's something you want, I'm going to find my, my guided meditation for you guys. So just get settled. If you need something else in your body, just something doesn't quite feel right, do whatever movement you need to do. You can even use the couch as your like, little <laughs> stand. Thank you. Sarah needed a shoulder stand and a plow, so that's what she's doing. And I like how she's using the couch. It kind of gives a little helper. <laughs> I'm going to get your oil ready. Yeah, <laughs> All right, make your way onto your back if you're not there already. I'll walk you through a guided meditation today, so if you find that you have trouble just being still, just relaxing, this will probably help you. Listen to the birds. If you have some classical music, you can play that. Lie on your mat. Close your eyes. Stretch out your legs and your arms alongside your body. Take a deep inhale, deep breath, exhale through the nose. Take a deep inhale, hold it for just a moment, and exhale deeply. Relax your jaw. Continue the deep breathing in and out through your nose. Let your mind become aware of your feet. Feet are soft. A golden glow begins to enter your feet. Let it fill you with warmth and relaxation. 
Let your feet just fall where they naturally want to. Just let them go. Feel the warmth begin to move up into your thighs. Let the big muscles in your thighs relax. Let the warmth drip down from the top of your thighs and ooze into the backs of your thighs. Feel the back of your legs just sinking into the mat beneath you. Just let them go. Let that warm light enter your neck. Feel your neck and throat begin to relax. Swallow gently and feel your throat open. Let your tongue drop into a relaxed position. Feel the warm golden light as it begins to fill your entire head and face. Let your eyes relax. Let your forehead relax. Let your crease between your eyebrows relax. Let the top of your head relax. Just let go. Now take a slow, deep inhale, a long, complete exhale, deep inhale, deep exhale, wiggle fingers and toes. Stretch your arms up overhead, taking a long body stretch. Exhale your knees into your chest. Rolling on your side, curling in a ball, using your bottom arm as a pillow. Gently pressing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Hands at heart center, eyes stay closed. Rooting down into your sit bones, lengthening your spine, shoulders back and down, small tuck of the chin. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Let it out the mouth. Ah. Helping your bodies feel a little bit more open, a little bit more mobile. Let your minds feel a little bit clearer today. Take another deep inhale. Sigh it out. Ah. It is always my honor to lead and guide you in this practice from my living room to yours. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for everyone for joining and those that are joining later on today or another day this week. I will be back again next week. I think I'll video the, film the videos ahead of time because um, I think they're a little bit clearer when I do it that way versus live. But I will still try and post them 8.30 Wednesday, 8.30 Thursday. And I'll have new pants then. <laughs> You'll find out what color will they be. All right. Thanks, guys.